The following video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone, and welcome to my Build and Buy Mode Overview for The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. In this video, I'm going to be showing all the items and all their color swatches. I've also made a create some overview, which will be up at the same time as this video. So I have an annotation link into that in case any of you want to check it out. Starting with the build mode items, we have four new wallpapers. This first one here is a wallpaper paneling combination. And I was really happy to see that because I do like those kinds of wallpapers. Same with this one here, which is a tile and paint combination. Then we have two new brick wallpapers, which I was once again happy to see because I do love a good brick wallpaper. Next, we have two floorings. This one here is more of a wood tile type flooring. And then we have this really beautiful stone flooring. Here we have this arch type decoration that I imagine would be something you would maybe put over a window or a door. And then we have this balcony decoration that would look good under a window. And next we have six new windows, which are absolutely stunning. I just love these. They're different than anything else we have in the game. And they have a really nice variety of swatches for them because you just have this mixture of plain windows and ones with more fancy woodwork and the framing of it. And there's also stained glass windows, which are just absolutely gorgeous. And something that we haven't quite gotten in the game before, I think we had some windows, like some colored windows that came with get together that were kind of stained glass, but they weren't anything like this. So I was just really so happy to see these. And then we also have some new doors to go with the same look of the windows. So we have this just general door you can use on the inside of your house. Then we have this front door. And these, once again, have that mixture of plain swatches and fancier woodwork and stained glass. So this goes with the windows and they are just absolutely gorgeous. I just really like the build-in buy mode items that come with this pack. I think they have a really gorgeous style to them. And I did watch the live stream that the Sims team did. And they said that the style they were going for with these items was Art Nouveau. And I was trying to figure out figure out what the style was when I was first going through these items, but I couldn't quite, you know, couldn't quite place it. So yeah, it was nice to know that Art Nouveau is specifically what they were going for with these. So here we have two new railings and a gate to go with them. And after that, we have a new staircase railing, which I'm showing here on an L-shaped staircase, which is something that we can do with the most recent patch. And I cannot wait to build putting that to use. Here we have a column, and after that we have a new spandrel that goes with the railings that we have seen. Next we have a new fountain, which looks really beautiful. Now we're on to the buy mode items, starting with a living chair and two dining chairs. And once again, I feel like these items have a really nice variety of different color swatches for them. You have a good mixture of plain color swatches, a good amount of different wood tones, and some of the swatches also have this really beautiful damask pattern to them. And I just think the Art Nouveau style of these items come in is really gorgeous. And something that I did notice when looking at a lot of these items is that the woodwork has this feel to it that is intertwining branches and leaves and it kind of gives us the, gives it this fairy-esque feel to it. And it's somewhat subtle and feels very elegant, so it's a bit different than other items that we have in the game. Like it's different than that one bed that came with Outdoor Retreat that had that being made of branches look to it. And I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And something I found interesting that they did say in the live stream for this pack was that Art Nouveau is done in this way that hides the screws and the fixtures holding the furniture together. So it makes the woodwork on it look like it's all one piece and it flows, which was something that I found very interesting personally. So that is kind of cool. But right now I'm just showing a, an accent table. And then we have this desk here, which has this kind of willow wisp effect to it on the top there. So when you are in live mode, you will see it moving. We also have a counter and island counter. Unfortunately, no cabinet, which I was very annoyed by. I don't know what it is with recent packs having incomplete kitchen sets. You know, like either you're missing the island counter or you're missing the cabinet. Like there's something always missing and then they patch it in later. And I don't know why they do that. I don't know if it's an accident, but the thing is they keep doing it. So I, I don't know if you can really say they keep doing it on accident. I just, I honestly don't know what it is. And they don't really, I don't think they've really said quite why they keep doing that. I hope that is something they changed though, but here we have this bathroom set, which kind of has this Phoenix theme to it, I think. And then a couple of different cauldrons. So you have a higher end one and a lower end one. And then we have a new bar that kind of goes with the feel of the items in this pack, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And this really cool wallpaper, like wall decoration that looks like it has alchemy ingredients. And then this one that has different images on it. And then that hanging, ob hanging object with some different dried herbs on it. Here we have a couple of different mirrors, which just look really beautiful. I like that look of intertwining branches once again that they have. And I really like that fairy-esque feel that they have. And something that I did want to mention is that you won't be seeing any wands or brooms in this video. 
and that's because they aren't readily available available in the buy mode catalog you can get them either by going to the shops in the magic realm or by getting them out of the debug menu if you don't want to deal with that but here we have three different currents which fit the various window types that you get and I, I like the variety of color swatches on them once again. I know I keep saying that, but I do like that. Here we have this rug that can be customized to make a runner of, you know, runner that's of the length of your choosing. So it's kind of like the one that we did get with vampires. And then here we have the circular rug. And after that, we have this really interesting rug there that you can put a cauldron in the middle. It looks kind of like a spot where they would do magic. Here we have this crystal table light and then a couple of different floor lamps. And after that, we have a few wall lamps and one of them looks kind of like a bug, this one here, which is really interesting. I actually think that is pretty cool. And after that, in the lighting category, we do have a rather large ceiling lamp here. This thing here is actually pretty massive. Next, we have a new fridge and stove, which just looks very ornate. It looks very beautiful. I like the flowers and branches that are on it. I just, I just think this is really beautiful looking. And here we have a new bookshelf. And, or actually a couple of new bookshelves. And after that, we have a couple of new dressers. And something I really like is that one of these dressers is just a one tile wide one, because I have been wanting smaller dressers like this. So I was glad to see that we got that in the game. So the last thing I want to show here in this video is that we did get four new rooms. And overall, I really like the Build It By Boat items that come with this pack. I think they're gorgeous and I cannot wait to build with them. But that is about all I want to say in this video. I hope it was helpful to those of you who want to see all the items that come with a pack before buying it. And with that, I'm going to leave off here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye.